For reasons I don't completely understand, people are really into the idea of big high-tech watches. Maybe it was that square iPod Nano or the insane response to the Pebble Watch on Kickstarter or the whole Nike fuel band and Fitbit craze. Whatever it is, the hot rumor right now is that Apple is cooking up their own wristwatch due out this year. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, I'm counting down the must-have iWatch features that might get me to buy one. Starting off at number five, notifications. Honestly, I don't really want a watch. What I want is a way to obsess over my phone without having to actually take out my phone and look like a jerk. I want to be able to screen calls, read text messages, see upcoming appointments, and I want it to blink and buzz a lot so that everyone thinks I'm important. Number four is a little bit gross, but it's gotta be sweat resistant. In fact, they can make this whole thing waterproof by going with wireless charging and sealing the whole thing up even better. All I know is that if this thing can be undone by a workout or a careless hand washing, it's too fragile for me. I need my pointless status symbols to be military grade. At number three, connectivity. Controlling music playback on my phone or iPod is the least it can do. I want to control Apple TV, AirPlay speakers, keynote presentations, talk to Siri, maybe even turn on the lights in my house. Now knowing Apple, I'll probably get half those features and then they'll dangle the other ones out for iWatch 2 and iWatch 3, which will come in more colors and be thinner. And then there'll be the iWatch Mini for the kids. I've suffered this abuse before. I know how it goes. Coming at number two, third-party apps. I don't want this thing to just be a window onto my phone in my pocket. I want it to have its own apps and I want to see what kind of cool things developers can make. Maybe some little teeny tiny games. I mean, it'll take some pretty tough design restrictions to keep designers from going off the rails, but Apple more than anyone else has shown that they can really crack the whip to enforce app quality. Now, before we get to number one, Let's take a minute to consider all of the features that the iWatch doesn't need. I mean, really, if this thing is like an iPhone companion device, why not let the phone in your pocket do the heavy lifting? That means no GPS, use Bluetooth 4.0 instead of Wi-Fi or 4G, no headphone jack, no pedometer, no quad-core processors, and most importantly, no offensively high price. I mean, who the hell really needs a smartwatch? Make it low tech with the low price and put the emphasis on apps and design. I mean, I know it's Apple, it's not gonna be cheap, but don't make me have to explain dropping $400 on an iWatch to my wife. It sounds ridiculous. All right, and now the number one thing that Apple's hypothetical iWatch is gonna need if they're gonna get people to re-embrace the watch, long battery life. Man, I have enough crap that I need to charge every day. I don't need to add a watch to the list. Now, Apple has shown that they can pull off some miraculous battery life with products like the iPad, but there's no way to cram a giant battery into something small enough to fit on your wrist. Well, maybe if it was like a Nintendo Power Glove kind of thing. That would actually be pretty badass. Put a solar panel on there for charging, a couple laser pointers, chick magnet. So there you go. Those are the five features an Apple iWatch would need to have to keep me interested. But it's just my opinion, and I'm sure you've got one of your own. So hit me up on Twitter, or leave a comment on the Top 5 blog over at top5.cnet.com. Also, be sure to check out Scott Stein's write-up of nine features he wants from the iWatch. I ripped you off. I only gave you five. I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.